It'll fuck up their TV, television, television. It'll fuck up their social media. Now you can better understand this social media experiment that's going on right now. It's like motherfuckers is straight up in the damn, on the damn hamster wheel right now. Motherfuckers is in the glass. They in the, they, they in the glass aquarium and shit. On, on the goddamn hamster wheel. They running around the hamster wheel and shit with this shit right now. Oh, yeah, let's see if they're going to talk about Nigga, we ain't talking about your weak ass, nigga. What we're going to do is a bust down on all of y'all clowns that's connected with you. Uh-huh. That's all we're going to do. It ain't nothing but a shit show. I'm seeing people now, you know, uh, dudes in relationships with women. After 50 Nature Boy done had them. After other, you know, uh, self-proclaimed wannabe cult leaders then had them and stuff like y'all just passing around all of this stuff man like this shit is ridiculous y'all passing around stuff at the expense of other people that sit back with their feet kicked up as if they entertained by this shit hey put them hearts up in here drop them is it a heart in the house tonight drop that motherfucker up in there man stray hearts up in that man is it a heart in the house come on man i know it's a heart up in the house some motherfucker went up and we were playing spades. Now, you'd be all the way dead to the moon unless you had that ace or that cane. If you ain't had that ace or that cane, you are, is it a hard in the house tonight? What? Just imagine that motherfucking car when it slapped down the table. That's how the beam team be slapping down on the goddamn table on all y'all ass. That motherfucker be so hard. Man, that motherfucker. What? You know how I do. You know I'm super duper extra goddamn fruity, super spectac nasty with that motherfucker. So I just grab all of the cars. I grab all three of the cards with my card face down. I grab it, then smack it. I hit it like that. I'm just super duper extra petty like that. So like I say, with all of y'all that's a part of this shit, low key, behind the scenes, still running game, thinking the motherfucker don't know. We know what your allegiance is. Uh-huh. Your allegiance is to Alicia. We know who the script writer is. I've been told you who the script writer was. Why you think the script writer tried to come over here and big face me talking about, uh, yeah, I'm over here because there's some things that you said that was incorrect. There was nothing that I said that was incorrect. I said what was discovered through research. I didn't have to watch a video. Even when you was over there playing like you was homeless in California, script writer. We don't fall for stuff like that. Like you put Nature Boy up in that uh, 24 hour, hour motherfucker Airbnb. Just like how F. Rule let Baby Velvet and shit fall off the couch and damn near bust her head. It was all for the expense for the views. Y'all did a child like let the, let the little baby fall off the couch and everything. Why Velvet didn't spaz then. She would go be 50 Nature Boy up for some stuff she said he did. All this old other stuff. Whoop the whoop. Why she ain't black then. Uh, what? Huh? If we let her, let her baby fall off the couch, damn, they'll bust their head to the white beat the way it looked. What? It was hard too. It was hard when she fell off that damn. But folks don't know about that. See, we know who the script writers are. We know who the people are that have invested money. You know, to be able to see, you know, this PSYOP actually play out. It ain't nothing about respond and reacting. That's why so much other shit that's taking place. You know, all this now, he mad at Malia and this and that and all that. Now she playing the script like Vel. He went off script two or three times today saying that. I said, look at him. I said, look at Clubfoot. He must have been drinking last night. Yeah, he must have been drinking. Somebody should have reminded Man, you giving it. You showing your whole hand, man. You showing your whole card, man. You can't sit down and play spades with us. Yeah, I sit at a whole different table playing spades. Man, I play spades anywhere. Spades standing up, man. One time I one time I was trying to figure out how I could play spades in the air without being in an airplane, without being in no helicopter chopping all this stuff. With up. Just, just, just want to be free like a bird playing spades and just smash, just slamming the motherfucker down in the air and shit. I was trying to figure it out. Like, what, what I was going to get to be able to make that motherfucker sound? The same way how 50 Nature Boy and them be sitting back trying to figure out how that they can come up with something that's elaborate enough to be able to catch your weak-ass motherfucking attention so you can tune in and then continue to do things like what you seen just the other day. I say, well, damn, I've never in my life been with a woman and went to the mall and got to the mall. And why did I was there? Pull out my phone, my other phone. But when I'm on the live, ask folks to send money and carrying on 
for shit that I'm going to buy for myself. Now, that's weird. Now, the people that are paid by Nature Boy would rather have you believe that I'm begging you for an amount of money. No, that's for the support from the research that I prove because time and time again, I never let you down. Now, them on the other hand, you know, they let you down sometimes because, you know, uh, the script, you know, that they would play out or whatever. It wouldn't be written, you know, what I'm saying as great as of on what other scripts was like. Perfect example. You see how the script was in Palenque. I think that may have been the greatest season of, you know, thus far, you know, just the whole velvet season. But now this stuff is going on, you know, the tattoos on the face, the going up in the mall, them wearing the geriatric open toe uh, out in the damn jungle hiking 2021 babaji goddamn sandals. Like, I'm sitting there looking like, man, how you going to have, boy, how you going to have three women? You going to have three whole women and they got on the goddamn geriatric gladiator motherfucker sandals on the shit. You got on geriatric gladiator sandals. Man, you crazy, man. <laughs> man, you crazy, man. Then went all the way up in there, asked them folks and everything to send them cash. I said, send them a cash, send them a cash out for what? I said, nigga, cash. I'm like, what the fuck? I said, nigga, a whole lot of cash. I nigga, nigga, whole lot got three racks in the cash out, but you hate no King World. That's only asking for a three dollar donation for the people that support the network. Now, ain't that shit strange? So they got a whole lot of cans. And they got a whole lot. I got three racks in the cash out, but you hate no King World. That's only asking for a three dollar donation for the people that support the network. Now, ain't that shit strange? That should tell you something within itself. So y'all will just do like, oh, 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 I'm spending big old money. I'm doing this. I'm doing, what the, what you, oh, you just spending big old money. So then you just spending other people's money. You take their money, you know, throw it in their face, blow it. Now he on the gym jank with the gym jank with the size 10 and a half motherfucking Air Max and shit on this nigga, 6'2". How you going to be 6'2 with a size 10 and a half foot? That's just not right. That should tell you within itself. Remember how I told you that he was put here? He was a plant, an agent, an instrument by design, an agent provocateur. Come on, man. They done shaped the mold of that motherfucker, man. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, look at, man. They had an assignment for him. I'm telling you, man. His growth, his growth spurt stopped with the shoes. Whatever shoes that he had had that he liked so much, when he, when he kept wearing them, man, that shit had like a dual effect, man, on his life, man. That shit like went backwards or whatever. Yeah, it did the reverse Benjamin Button type of shit to his feet. It just stopped all together. So when you look at this guy, right, that's that excited, you know, by shoes that he got, proving that he could get people to do, you know, as he said, it's the same way of on how you would have these channel holders that just be recording them and don't have no commentary, letting people, uh, you know, continue to fall victim to those spells that's being cast, just like them damn casting directors. It's the same motherfucking shit. Same motherfucking shit. Hold on, who put that shit up in there? Man, ain't no motherfucker. Hey, look here. You got to watch all of this shit. Watch, watch it as it play out. And watch these people. Watch these people, man. They're going to they gonna reveal themselves now. And the reason that they're revealing themselves now is they're like, man, fuck it. I don't, even, I don't even care now. They ain't really paying attention. Oh, man, we've been paying attention. Don't think that we ain't been watching. Don't think that we ain't been clocked. Don't think that we ain't been watching your movement. That's why, you know, you had these people that'll be window watching, going back and then reporting. Hey, the whole life op. See, they done been paid. They by design. You see, they for the they, they by the system. They by the system within itself. You see, and when I speak that way about 50 Nature Boy, I want you to understand, I don't mean that he's an agent like he the damn federal bureau of investigations or no shit like that he's by design you see that's right he's been set in place to do a particular thing now one has to ask with the amount of people that are sit back and then watch him play to be a, a pseudo doctor what else in the world could be taking place you know whenever a person is trying to you know get a group of people together you didn't see the other day when i was showing the walking dead and when i was showing rick on the walking dead well, these receipts is hitting hella different right now. I had to get up and run these receipts. I'm just actually listening to this video. I think I'm going to have to just go ahead and permit this shit. 
and Rick was on that bridge. Mm -hmm. See, Rick, and look here, Rick tried to get all them walkers, you know what I'm saying, to come on the bridge and shit or whatever. He was thinking that the bridge was just going to collapse. You feel what I'm saying? And then it's like even more so by all of the damn walkers coming on the damn bridge, even the ones that didn't step on the bridge, by all of them being there, once that the damn explosives, once that the motherfucking explosives motherfucker take place, they all will be hit. You see? They all will be hit. You see how a lot of people were garnered together? You see how a lot of, you know, bodies were collected together? Peep the metaphor now with the walking dead. You see how many people were put together and what he made an attempt to do? Think about the amount of people that be gathered together that are only entertained watching 50 Nature Boy to record them. Now think about all of the other stuff that could implode. Think about all of the other stuff that could go off like uh, when Rick was on that bridge with that dynamite. Now think about, think about, uh-huh. Cause see, that's how they be, look, they be glued to the tube. They be, I'm, I'm like, I've never seen people that interested in stuff that they knew that was fake. They knew that it was fake. That's like when I was younger, before that I got into wrestling, I used to question why my grandma was like, I used to be like, damn grandma, like you, I mean, and, and in my mind, I'm like, I know this ain't real, you know this ain't real, I be tripping off her like you be tripping off her, but nah, she wholeheartedly feels some kind of way about that wrestling and Ric Flair, aka Nature Boy, you feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm like, damn, you know, like she really into this shit, like, and, and that's how people are really caught up into this shit right here. Knowing that the mass majority of the shit that they're seeing is not even fucking real. Now, as far as the <laughs> physical abuse. This was two years ago. Now, when they say that the receipts hit different, man, hold on. This shit right here is crazy. This is crazy right here, family. Let me run this back. Let me just just for a second. If you got a, if you got time, then I got time. Many people were put together, and what he made an attempt to do. Think about the amount of people that be gathered together that are only entertained watching Fifty Nature Boy to record him. Now think about all of the other stuff that could implode. Think about all of the other stuff that could go off like uh, when Rick was on that bridge with that dynamite. Now think about, think about, uh huh. Cause see, that's how they be. Look, they be glued to the tube. They be, I'm, I'm like, I've never seen people that interested in stuff that they knew that was fake. They knew that it was fake. That's like when I was younger, before that I got into wrestling, I used to question why my grandma was like, I used to be like, damn, grandma. Like, you, I mean, and, and in my mind, I'm like, I know this ain't real. You know this ain't real. I be tripping off her like you be tripping off her, but nah, she wholeheartedly feels some kind of way about that wrestling and Ric Flair, a.k.a. Nature Boy. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm like, damn, you know, like she really into this shit. Like, and, and that's how people are really caught up into this shit right here, knowing that the mass majority of the shit that they're seeing is not even fucking real. Now, as far as the physical abuse that's taking place uh, involving the women that are there, like how what you seen with Big Wizzy. Oh, no, Big Wizzy was not a part of the script. Big Wizzy wasn't a part of the motherfucking script. Big Wizzy got burnt. Big Wizzy got strung along. Big Wizzy was a woman that was dealing with 50 Nature Boy for damn near six years. Damn near six years. Sending, sending 50 Nature Boy money and every motherfucking thing. She tricked the shit up out of it. Tricked the deck. Tricked the deck. That's a, that, that ain't even a devil in disguise right there. That's a physical manifestation of a devil. Even got her, look, even coerced her, coaxed her. Look, he persuaded, manipulated. He did all that shit and got her ass back into his life only to crush her, to crush her emotionally. Now, what type of person is that if it's not a person that's making an attempt to build you up? If that's not, if it's not the person that's trying to build you up, why would you pay attention to, why would you give energy to the person that's trying to destroy you and take you down? Why would you give energy to those type of individuals that only want to divide you? Why would you allow for certain individuals to magnetize you that mean you no good whatsoever? Think about this shit. It's talent.com. It's all talent.com. All this shit is talent.com. Everything, man. If, all, all, all these people that you see, man, they at one time or another wanted to be a rapper, wanted to be a singer, wanted to be some type of movie star, whether actor or actress. It don't matter whatever the hell that it was. These are all failed entertainers that you're seeing now. 
uh, that are on a minor stage. But social media is a platform damn near that will allow for anybody to be somewhat uh, heard with what they're saying, you know, by scores of people without even leaving the comforts of your own home, the comforts of your vehicle. You be outside, you do whatever you want to do. You hit that button, boom, they're going to tap in. But think about the people that's out here that's just putting out all these different narratives, all this different fake shit, and you running from channel to channel, you listen to all this so crazy shit. You know that that does have a, you know, not only a psychological effect, but over a period of time, that shit has a physical effect on you too. It got a physical effect on you too. Just like I made a post, you know, on on, on a whole nother um, you know, on a whole nother platform. You know, running into people and saying, well, damn, you know, at one time, you know, everything about Babylon was wrong. But now this guy gets to celebrate his birthday. This guy, you know, just so happens to say, well, hey, you know, well, I'm this old this year as if that, you know, all of the stuff that's taking place that he didn't have a birthday within the time span, you know, the time span of 2016 up until now. He only had one birthday. So what he want us to believe is the entirety of the time that we don't see any video whatsoever of him, any of the shenanigans that took place. He want us to think that that was only a year. You see how that shit go? That shit just like that damn murder mystery, man, I'm telling you. It's just, it's just like the murder mystery, man. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Look at here. We talked about Kanika Jenkins for so long, right? We talked about Kanika Jenkins for so long. That shit, that shit damn near went on two and a half, three years. And when it went on two and a half, three years, it seemed like it was a week. It seemed like it was a week. That much time, that much time was taken up discussing one particular thing where there were several other things uh, in the world that was taking place. There were several other atrocities that were taking place in the world. There were several other Children who were kidnapped, uh, abducted, uh, teenagers who were kidnapped, uh, children who were molested. And there was an even constant influx of pedophiles, uh, fuck niggas and weirdos and other different characters that you all have grown to accept only by way of social media. OK. And the reason I say social media, because when you give this much energy to your phone. You can only imagine what imagery, what messages is then communicated to not only yours, but our children within itself. You see, they sneaking all type of shit up in the game. They sneaking all type of different agendas up in this motherfucker right now. Mm. All type of different. Well, like I say, there's 50 agendas a damn play. Different stuff, man. It's, it's yeah. a whole damn play. Yeah, and, and it's crazy. It's crazy when a motherfucker don't recognize. I'm like, damn, so, you, so, so your child is watching. A program on TV. You in another room. They done flipped it to Nickelodeon. When they flip it over to Nickelodeon and stuff, that old other show come on. I can't even think of the name of Wayne Brady, the damn character. Uh, he the little black character, the black man over there on the cartoon and stuff. But anyway, Wayne Brady is the voiceover for the male character of this cartoon. And this cartoon is in a relationship, uh, you know, uh, with another man. And, and it's weird as hell, but for this era in time, if you don't, you know, catch it, you could be doing some washing dishes or whatever. That old shit come on, you know, your kids sitting there tuned in watching that shit or whatever. Boom, bam, about a good, a good damn three to four months. They start doing all type of different feminine stuff if your child is a male, because, see, that's the agenda within itself. You see, this is all of this programming. This is all of this shit that's going on through the media. This is the way that they set it up. This is the way they set it up. It don't make a damn how you move around. It's already out here now. They don't even put it in the food, man. It's, it's done even took place, you know, way beyond the bounds and the meats of damn imagery. You see, you see now how. You know, more of the acceptance is of uh, tighter fitting, form fitting clothes as opposed to loose clothes. Think about it. Back in the day, it was all about the baggy clothes. Me and a guy had a conversation walking out the store. It was a whole lot of conversation. He started laughing and stuff. He was like, man, I can't stand wearing this mask. I say, man, you know what, man? This is the first time in history, man, I ever was just comfortable walking in the store with this mask on. He just looked at me. I started laughing. 
Cause I'm telling you some real shit like now. Like like walk It's the sign of the times, yo. Like straight up. Walking in the store with the mask on and this legit. Nobody thought it was out of ordinary. Not 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 wait till the coast is clear and strike out running and all them type of things, but just, you know, casually, just slowly walk into the store and select the item and pay for it with the mask on too. You see what they doing? You see what they doing, right? Huh? See, they're going to give you a whole different level of things that you should be in fear of. You ain't got to be in fear of a robber. See what, see what they showing you? Now, you ain't got to be in fear of that. You ain't got to be in fear of none of that other stuff. You know why? You got to be in fear of the shit that you can't see. The shit they put right in front of your face right now. Just like that bullshit with 50 Nature Boy. That's why it's trending the way that it's trending. That's why motherfuckers running over. I'm like, damn, you got 300 people looking at some fake ass shit. So what about all of the people that were so-called or at least attempted or made it seem as if that they were real or had something real to talk about? Ain't that some motherfucking shit? Oh, is this right? What the? What do you get when you crawl? That ain't nothing but the devil right there. That ain't nothing but the devil. Put horse in the room. Just put horse in the room. Just, just for GP. Put them in there, man. That ain't nothing but the devil. If you still listen, I ain't calling you a devil. That that was that was a uh, devil inspired. That was Shaitan inspired by what I was just delivering for you to even come up in the gym, Jane, and didn't didn't even know what was going on. That was still you having a whole lot of conversation. That let me know when you looking at other stuff. It's a whole lot of other conversations going on. You got to be focused nowadays. It's too much shit going on right now. Just imagine, everywhere you go right now, everybody got a cell phone. Everybody you see got a phone. They on the phone. Yeah, all this type of shit. Look, I went to the movies about I went to the movies about two weeks ago and shit. I'm up in the movies, motherfucker, on, on, on the phone in the movies. Why you on the phone in the movies? You supposed to be at the movies. You on the phone. You know what I'm saying? You at the phone. <laughs> on the phone and shit at the movies. See how all that other shit done canceled out now? See all that other stuff then canceled out now? This give me reason to believe uh, further than just expectation. This one of the main reasons why our children be getting abducted to tell you the damn truth. They too much paying attention to their phone. They ain't been given no proper instruction to be paying attention to everything else that's going around, you know, that's going on around. Because, see, back in the day, you might have every now and then, you know, you might have like a handful of children and stuff, you know, just like I, I want to show you the contrast, you know, with the cell phone. And what I said two years ago, now look at the technology and look how even younger children now, shit, they just dress like whole live adults now. They've assumed, they've assumed, you know, like the character, the cosplay role of being an adult. And this shit has been, hey, look, the, the, the parents that made this shit whole lot legit. That's when the it's, it's, it's legit now. Abduction take place within itself. Yeah. Come on, man. Make it make sense. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. We don't get caught up in these scripts and all these narratives and stuff or whatever. And see, that's one thing about it and what I've been speaking about for years about people not getting caught up in the script because that's all the fuck that this is. A script that's filled with several different characters. But I get it, though. I get it, though. That's mm -hmm. why I'm glad I kept the receipts. That's what right. Do. That's when the abduction take place within itself. Yeah. Come on, man. Make it make sense. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. We don't get caught up in these scripts and all these narratives and stuff or whatever. But I get it, though. I get it, though. That's why I'm glad years I... Ago, years ago. This what I, see, this was two years prior to now. I was telling people not to get caught up in these scripts. That 50 Nature Boy, you know, he was out here writing this stuff and these narratives was put out on social media. You see now how the receipts hit different. I'm glad I kept the receipts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I kept the receipts. It's probably, and look, it's probably like 20 or 30 uh, people affiliated with 50 Nature Boy and people even playing like they cool with me that's just waiting to go back and take some information of 50 Nature Boy. It won't. Boy, look at here. Did I, not, did I not call it the way I seen it back then and I seen it like a, a motherfucker 28-inch zine, if you hear me. All these narratives and stuff or whatever, hey, hey. but I get it, though. I get it, though. That's why I'm glad I kept the receipts. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I kept the receipts. It's probably, and look, it's probably like 20 or 30 uh, people affiliated with 50 Nature Boy and people even playing like they cool with me that's just waiting to go back and take some information of 50 Nature Boy. It won't even happen. It won't even happen. I do live commentary. I be talking for about four or five motherfucking hours and won't even have to talk about none of that shit that got to do with that shit, period. Because I know you waiting. I know you watching. Put number hearts up in the room, man. Number hearts up in my joint. Hold on. Let me run my jank back right quick. Yeah, because that gem jank came in there. It, it, y'all ain't put no motherfucking respect on that shit. You feel me? Y'all don't know nothing about no smoke, sugar. You got to holler at your grandma. Go get your grandma. Tell your grandma I'm live, you hear me? Cause y'all don't, you know what I mean? Y'all young and stuff going on. I try to, I, I be trying to take y'all that off. I heard my tears from the crowd. I call it. spoke that shit into existence because we definitely watch how, how you know 50 nature boy came down we man look at here y'all <laughs> and this receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt you know what i'm saying another damn epic bill man from the archives now now like i say all the motherfuckers said now <laughs> now the house is 50 nature boy's sister house and shit how now is it your sister house and shit in the beginning it was your crib you moving into a new home you know uh, you move back to atlanta we don't know what's going on with the other members of carbonation that don't do nothing but just build a suspense but why now are you telling us and shit <laughs> why the fuck you telling us and shit now you know what i'm saying that that's your sister crib and shit you know that ain't your motherfucking sister crib and shit that's a rental property now as far as her name being on the lease we don't know about any of that stuff right there, nor is that any of our business. We're not concerned. We don't give a fuck. We just report on your ass. That's why that location, that's why that motherfucker wasn't disclosed. We just had to show and prove before that you start trying to show out and show off the motherfucking house and shit. We just had to quickly, you know, go ahead and then prove that all of that shit was fraud as a motherfucker. Now, being that you are, in fact, fraud. Now you want us to believe that it's her career. Like, dude, stop. So do you think that we just forgot about every time that you went live when you was talking about the spot, when you was talking about the house? Are you fucking serious right now? Are you serious? You think we crazy? Would you think we got the motherfucking stupid face on and shit or whatever? You think we got the stupid face on? Huh? You think, you think, you, 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 you are, are, are you fucking serious right now? You think motherfuckers don't pay attention to detail? You think we ain't watching? You don't think we motherfucking listening? Man, we been seeing all this shit right here, man. The only reason now you trying to throw that shit, you know, off on her, your play sister, you done brought her into the storyline because you know that you hit. And as far as places for you to go, you know that those places are limited. They limited. You did too much crazy stuff. You know, there's people that's want to check you on that bullshit that you've been saying. And, of course, what the fuck you've been doing. You done endangered people's lives. You've affected people physically as well as verbally. And, undoubtedly, emotionally, you done fucked up a whole bunch of people. You done had them believing some shit that ain't even fucking real. You had a motherfucker believing some shit that ain't even motherfucking real. Right? And you don't think you're supposed to be penalized? You don't think that you should feel bad at the end of the day? No remorse whatsoever. fucking ever? You can't be serious, 50 Nature Boy. You can't be fucking serious with this shit. But then it's all this shit about living in nature and, you know, the benefits, you know, of doing so. What happened to all of that? Now, you're not even speaking about anything that got anything to do with no motherfucking nature. I don't never see, when I do see your ass outside, it's in the motherfucking backyard type of shit. That's it. You only going into the backyard. There's nothing 
that could show anyone that's tuning in that you are in fact connected, a part of, or that you deal with nature. You always on motherfucking line, which in fact, which in fact, <laughs> by you always being on motherfucking line and shit like all fucking day, that is a contradiction. That's a contradiction. I'm telling you. And these people that still are holding on to these concocted theories that you've put out on social media, they just as fucking crazy as what the fuck you look right now. Rocking the cool grill. Trying to appear to be cool and shit. Like, man, don't nobody believe that shit. Nor the fuck do we believe you. We don't believe none of that shit that you saying. Never Did, did we ever? Fuck no. No, nobody believe that motherfucking shit. You only wanted to make it seem like, you know what I'm saying, that this is what you was going to do. You know how many people you lied to? How many people that you actually manipulated with the idea of growing, sustaining an eco-village? All of this shit, all of, the, all of the productive stuff that had to do with constructing an eco-village. You told several people this, but you didn't live up to your claims. You only stated these things. Physically, you put in no action, no work, just like the other day. In that backyard, when all them hedges and shit was getting cut the fuck down, you didn't do nothing. You didn't get out there and do nothing. You had your wives out there doing it. Now, what you were doing, you probably was upstairs beating off to some tranny porn or some stuff. Had your women, out, had your wives out there. They out there pulling shit and cutting down big ass motherfuckers. Man, she, man, they cutting down big shit. Big shit. Cutting down branches, thorns on the motherfuckers and everything. Could have got paws and knives, they ain't got no shoes on. None of that. This guy is nowhere to be found. Just like he was nowhere to be found when that van got wrecked into that wall. That lady still ain't got her motherfucking money back. You feel you was nowhere to be found. Just like at the time when uh Tory, when Joy wanted to leave. You was nowhere to be found. You'd never anywhere to be found because you a runner, you a track star, uh Club foot, your time is coming, you know. You know your time is coming. Ooh, ooh. That's why we be on your ass. Every fucking day we be on your ass. And I'm telling you, and it's not going to motherfucking stop. It ain't going to stop. Like I say, it's too many. You see that shit real. I spoke that shit into existence. Many of us now yeah. that's paying attention. To the exploits. Hey, look, to the exploits. All this old stupid ass, ignorant ass shit that you went to, it's too many of us right now that's paying attention. It'd be different if the people didn't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah, but they man, come on, man. And it's a and it's a beautiful thing that even more people are spreading the message now, too. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, it, hey yo, it make my job easier to be honest with you. Yeah, because even more people want to know how much of a fuck nigga that you are. That, I'm, I'm telling you, it's a lot of people, a lot of people that want to know. And I'm glad that they want to know. You know why? Because many of them have children, young adults, many of them have children who definitely should be aware, you know, of a clown, of a weirdo, of a fraud, of a fake of a counterproductive ass person such as yourself. I don't want anybody to get, you know, wrapped up, anybody to get subdued, anybody to feel like that you are the person with the answers, that you are the person to be able to steer them, you know, on a productive path in their life. No, you're not that person. You're an agent, you're a person that's been put out into our community. That's why now people who want to do legitimate astrological readings can't even do astrological reasons readings because you done fucked it up you done fucked it up motherfucker can't do no reading now because of them fraud ass readings that you been into you and all this you you miss uh misstating tarot.com calling it tarot.com you done fuck these people up fuck them up they had them believing some crazy stuff why you think the mass majority of them now they broke it in a motherfucker wanting to be close to you in the tropics and shit. And your ass is in Atlanta. In the fucking tropics. They still got this same motherfucking war perception as if that's the key, the end result of all. That's the end result of all. Tell me. 
Tell me what the fuck is going on. Tell me what the fuck is wrong, y'all. Where in the world did this become legitimate? How is it that people, how is it that same people, you know, would allow for some retarded motherfucker with no substance to influence their life? How? How? You know how? By sitting there, look, by sitting there like this right here. Motherfucker looking at their phone. Looking at their motherfucking phone. Let's weigh in on it then. Let's weigh in on it. Weigh in on it. Deeper down the rabbit hole we go. Did you guys see that little boy fly off the ladder? Some type of force pushed him off that ladder. You know? 50 dwelling around with them spears and carrying on. Wow. I trip. And there you have it. <laughs> they say the truth might scare you, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I watched this video, what, twice? You know, and the second time I watched it, I mean, <laughs> that stood out like a sore thumb to me. Telling you, man, people, people see what the fuck is going on. You know, I'm familiar with this. <laughs> I'm familiar, very familiar with this. Um, I've dealt with someone in my past, my ex, who was just like 50, you know, world, and I appreciate you for doing what you do, because I'm learning from it, and I'm, you know, not forgetting, you know, the fact that it's people like 50 club but that walks around among us every day, and we need to know the signs, and we need to know how to deal with these jokers, you know what I'm saying, because they're demonic Fact. spirits, Fact. and as you see, you know, it was a force that, that, that pushed that boy off that, that, pool, that, that ladder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, it's real. And they say the truth will scare you, and it will. Okay? But we have to accept it, and we have to keep our foot on their neck. Period. Oh, yeah. You already... Hey, look at here. You know without a shadow of a doubt, I'm going to keep my motherfucking foot on his neck. I got to. Hey, well, yeah, man. I, oh, my gosh. I got so much to say. Um, you know, you only can do one-minute videos, but... Like I said earlier, you know, my ex was just like a 50, you know, and when I started watching you in December, um, you came into my life during, you know, a time where <laughs> it was, it was like, it, it was right in the nick of time, you know what I'm saying? And I've been watching you ever since, um, to sum it up. But I have a lot to say, you know, um, dealing with my ex, I've experienced situations, I've experienced things like that, like I said earlier with, you know, uh, doors opening up by itself, you know what I'm saying, feeling stuff jumping on my bed, you know what I'm saying, with dealing with this individual, with this entity, you know what I'm saying, and uh, this shit is real, and that's why yeah. I kind of like that you're, like, <laughs> going deeper, you know what I'm saying. I got, and that, and that's the thing okay. about it, and that's, that's why I'm going deeper with this shit, because I do understand that even if a person has experienced anything similar to this, it may not have been you know, to this extent, you feel what I'm saying, it may, it may not have been to this extent right here, you know, and what I've seen take place with these women, women like Pocahontas, uh, people like Yaya, you know, who afterwards very briefly stated, you know, what their experience was like, you know, with dealing with this individual, man, I'm telling you, it's even more people out here in this world than just these individuals that we see and that we're talking about that has dealt with somebody that's on this level abusively, verbally, as well as physically, and that uses rhetoricism, all of these different combinations of, 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 of teachers and shit. This motherfucker uses all of that shit, y'all. He done put it together. He done made it seem as if that is his own. He's passed it off. And to certain individuals, I feel like, who have mental uh, deficiencies, motherfuckers who not mentally stable, no matter how you want to call it or not, they're easily attracted to this type of person. He's already giving them the impression. Not only will they be stars, will they be famous, you know, will they attain certain things. Man, he done told them some fuck shit. And not everybody will believe some crazy ass shit like this. But the majority of people that's dealing with some stuff in their lives, it may be a low period in their life that they're undergoing man come on man anything sound good anything that'll even give them the impression hey you know that it's gonna be okay they're gonna roll with it now think now if a person's homeless 
and was to run across somebody like 50 Nature Boy, and he was to tell them some out of this world stuff only because he gave them something to eat and they drug of choice. Think about how deadly that that'll be. Think about people that's watching this and low key not telling people, but emulating the actions of the cult leader and what that could do and how vital that can be for our teens, for our youth, for these sisters that's 15, 16, 17, going on 18 years old who feel like now, you know, that they at the beginning stages of, you know, womanhood or I'm grown or and I'm just out there and start dealing with a clown like him. All of them false impressions, all, look, all them false imp all them false promises that this motherfucker give, that ain't nothing but a mind game that I'm sure a lot of sisters will undoubtedly play, just as we've seen these women play. We're seeing it right now. This whole carbonation shit. Man, this ain't no different. Hey, yo, he ain't no different than the average bum motherfucker in any neighborhood to tell you the fucking truth. It just so happens that this bum motherfucker is online. And being that he's online, he's able to reach scores of people with this message. It ain't just about going in on this motherfucker. It's about being able to stop this message. He'll get to the point where he'll understand about his ineffectiveness. He, uh, trust me. Trust me. Because he's pulling out all of the stops now. Both baby mamas. Shit, this people been hitting me up. That's even looking forward to even seeing Velvet with his ass again. As weird as what the fuck is that scene. As many people that, you know, spoke so much about, you know, how that they was for and how they wanted to help her and how they wanted the best for I see it. That's why he said the other day, yeah. I love all my baby mamas. Ain't nobody ask you about loving all your baby mamas. Motherfucker, ask your dumb ass, you know what I'm saying, would you take Velvet back or would you deal with Velvet type of shit? He went into some love type of shit. That's the same type of sex magic that he done used on his other baby mamas, Maisha and Javine. He used the same thing on them. Why you think that word L-O-V-E? Why you think that wasn't changed? Myself was changed. Yeah, yourself, self uh, instead of S E L F, it's C E double L F. I spell it S E double L F. And the reason being, as a parody, as a joke to a clown, stupid ass, ignorant motherfucker like him that's putting out this falsehood out into the community. This what make motherfuckers run away from the knowledge. This what make people not want to learn. This what make people not, you know, want to strive further, you know, in life. You know, especially if they got an open mind with connecting with the things that may be on their mind. Dropping it in the woods, you hear me? It's great like that. And if you ain't smashed like already, make sure that you smash the fuck up out that like button. King World Classic shit jumping off right now. You know, feel what I'm saying? It's like they won't even take steps toward the path, you know, where possibly if they go, you see what I'm saying? That they may be to the good. From fucking with him. Just from listening to him. Peep game with the peep game, man. I'm telling you. I don't give a fuck what happened, family. Beam team gonna make it make sense. That's a whole motherfucking live fact. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Okay. My shit, it got darker than a motherfucker. You hear me? Now. Now, like I say, all the motherfuckers say, now, <laughs> now the house is 50 nature boys and shit. How we are doing something wrong. We got to go back to the old days, niggas. I mean, all right, cuz. We got to go back to the old days and slay these niggas. Make sure that they stay in jail. Make sure we lock up every black man that has a voice, that has a mission, that has a purpose to uplift the people in a positive way. Didn't, did he just get locked up for some shit? The government about to shut down 13 times. Why are they taking the black men that have a vast and large, powerful... Diddy ain't that powerful, but you know what I'm saying. He got a platform with over a million, million people following him. That means you are a threat. If you black, you got you speaking a little bit of something, a little bit of something. And you got a lot of followers... You are a threat to the American corporation. They do not they do not want a rise of a black messiah that will bring people together. When they saw Eligio bringing people together, militarizing them, bringing them in structure and order, disciplined. I love myself. Peace, Miss Black. 
militants and and something that's when you saw us standing on that wall you knew something changed Hell, I knew something changed. I knew, oh, this is waking up some genetic H and DNA. I felt that I used I used to walk with the um, Black Panther Party. I used to do all that. I know I did. I know I was a slave revolutionary. I know I was with Nat Turner. I know my soul was really, really about that. Because where I'm at right now, how I'm still holding down to the morals and principles and still got my back against that wall for black supremacy and three God reigning supreme over this place, a plane of existence. Because if you see, if everybody was just to take what Elihia was speaking and apply it to their lives, it would be a lot more love within this plane of existence. It would be a lot more um, understanding a lot more um, honor, a lot more respect, a lot more respect. Black people, you ain't got no respect. You disrespectful. Y'all niggas disrespectful. And I see, I see why. I see why we was put into slavery because we disrespectful. We ain't got no respect. We ain't got no dignity, no honor. For God. I'm trying to say that 50 being put into slavery, I guess that's DeKalb County Jail. That's slavery, babe. You know, this part two of that Zocane shit. Oh, God. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> and how is she going to tell people pe about people's ancestors that were enslaved that that's the reason why they was enslaved because they were disrespectful? Yeah, just because they was disrespectful. No other reason. Everybody disrespectful just because 50 in jail. <laughs> Everybody disrespectful just because he in jail. Everybody is disrespectful, man. You know, Poppy locked up and shit. So that's how it's okay to feel about this shit, man. She's just like, just be mad at yourself. Mm. Instead of y'all going along with everything that he had going on on there, y'all should have been trying to tell him the right things to do. Like, y'all went along with it. You didn't say nothing. Blame yourself. And he disrespected y'all. <laughs> he disrespected y'all. Uh -huh. That's why he's where he's at. Exactly. God. God is everything and everyone. Why shall we hurt each other? Why shall we... Why are we killing each other? Why are we locking each other up, black woman? Why must you call the white man every time shit don't go your way? You disgust me. Why must you publicly humiliate the black man? Like he hasn't been humiliated enough. The fact that he can't be a, a man within his own home. He cannot tell his children and his wife what is going to happen and what needs to happen. And this is going to happen. No, because she can pick up the phone she call. She said that he can't be a man in his own home, but that was Boy Twan's home, though. That's who, that's who shit that was where they were staying at. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't own nothing. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like, they was, like, fighting to be queen. I'm like, queen of what? Queen of what? The damn. <laughs> they didn't own them. nothing. Like, what? It, what it, the queen of what? I honestly think it was the queen of the dumb. It was the queen of the dumb. No. So you mean to tell me, okay, you if you just walking down the street, whatever, somebody robbed you or something at gunpoint, whatever. So you so you're not gonna call the white man. You're not <laughs> gonna call the white man, the police. You're not gonna call the police in no situation whatsoever, just because of the person is of color. That's nonsense. That shit don't make sense. That's nonsense. She, I, I just. That's okay. That's she how just, she, she just really in her feelings upset yeah. because they know he's not finna get out. Yeah. See, see, like the reality is 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 settled, and like I said, I just feel like Zocane, you know, Zocane had to come out and did say some shit or whatever because. 
you know, the rest of them, they was, they was already fired up. You know, Zocane wanted to express herself. You know, that was spoken word poetry. She letting you know that they, they done, you know, pretty much, it's done, it's done came a realization to them. Like, yeah, we're going to have to wait to February 20th. He's not getting out. He's going to try. It ain't nothing else to it. And y'all, you know, and then they don't realize they're, they're the products of what he has been doing over these years. So just you all's existence and behavior is proof enough. If y'all walked in that courtroom right now and they put you on the stand and ask you all of these questions and you all have these responses, guilty without a doubt. <laughs> Guilty. Yeah, guilty. Yeah, guilty verdict. Because they just gonna—they're not gonna even see like how he has just messed up, messed them up. The judge will ask them a legit question. They're being they're giving answers about the five sciences. Exactly. You know? So that's what I'm saying. The, the jury will be like, "Oh yeah, guilty. He don't need to be out." And that, and y'all, and your behavior. That's another reason why they're saying that he is. <laughs> not safe to be out on bail because y'all still doing everything that he wants y'all to do yeah every damn thing it's like they ain't, they they haven't skipped the beat at this point yeah so with blame thinking, yourselves with their thinking anyway blame yourselves y'all should have flipped the script and acted like y'all was going on with it, your business whatever mm -hmm. then maybe he could have got a little bail exactly they would have damn like, let's say, for instance, you know what I'm saying, if Zoka went and got her a job at Wendy's, you know, Aya, you know, she would have worked at, you know, Home Depot or somewhere like that. Just anywhere, jobs in general that would have showed the court system that he doesn't have that control, that influence, and that they are people that acknowledge that what he did was wrong, and now they're moving on with their life. That's what I think. Yeah, but now they're not even that smart. They want to, oh, they want to try to look, be so down, and uh, like, y'all, y'all look like clowns. Just like him. <laughs> a bunch of fucking clowns, uh, like straight up. And so, mm. they willing to be broke. They willing to be fucked up in the whole fucking nine, babe. Like, like he hasn't been humiliated enough. The fact that he can't be a... Like um, he ain't been humiliated enough. <laughs> <laughs> the difference on that is 50 would always humiliate his own self. Now he humiliated y'all. Oh my goodness! Man. He humiliated everybody that was in carbonation. Mm -hmm. So, him being humiliated? Are you serious? Where did the humiliation come from? All of the evidence and majority of the evidence is things that he recorded his own self. And see, this is where y'all are trying to get it twisted and talking about malicious intent and all this other kind of stuff. When it is on video, we nobody made up stories. Nobody just grabbed this information out of the sky and just was like, yeah, this is what he did. Y'all showed it. And the other evidence that they have are recordings because 50, it was sick. He is a sick person and he wanted to record every single thing. So there was plenty of things that are probably on those videos that they have gotten off of the personal hard drives that was not on lives. He's the one that recorded it. He's the one that ordered to, it to be recorded. So blame him. That's what I'm saying. Blame yourselves. You allowed yourselves to get filmed. You participated. Right. Whether it was willingly or not, or whether you were brainwashed or not, you still participated. Oh, yeah. participated. So don't come out here hollering and talking about we he been humiliated. He middle what? He humiliated himself <laughs> and y'all. <laughs> we don't have nothing to do with that, okay? That's not our problem. That's not our fault. We are not responsible. Y'all are. Take res take responsibility for something. So then if they supposed to be his wives, like they they they're not doing a good job as far as representation of him and as far as like 
you know, holding it down now that he's away, you know, just, you know, maintaining the sanity within the group and the members. They ain't doing none of that shit. They showing that they throw it off too. Like, yeah. Straight up. And this is right now is nothing but a little pity party. That's all that it is. Y'all can keep that to yourselves. We don't we don't want to participate. So why you so why you think Fufu didn't get up on there and address the situation then? Because they know she Fufu don't is beside herself right now. She didn't got a little taste of what it actually means if she ends up keeping her mouth closed. I feel like she's playing the part still, but she's got she she thinking deeply of what could possibly come. Like this is not a joke. This is for real. Cause it's like, yeah, she does have like some little charges or whatever, but she does have a felony charge. And it's like, she's probably sitting back thinking and she, and she know that they would have just tore her up. Like, yeah. She got, she got to get herself together a little bit. She got to get herself to get fufu. Because I mean, she got to think it through. She fell off anyway. Because remember when she came out here and she was she was the only one time I that she was going to be on live and keep doing the teachings. Fufu fell off on the teaching. She was too busy trying to draw up <laughs> plans for drones and and that that failed mission, <laughs> the black op mission. She <laughs> that shit crazy, man. She should have been staying online and trying to teach the knowledge instead of doing that foolishness. And why y'all didn't tell him, well, no, nah, we shouldn't do that because they're going to be looking at you very closely like this is not a good idea. But no, y'all just going along. Because, I mean, he, I don't know whether or not if he viewed it as if that he was just the average inmate. No, you're not the average inmate. You you listed, you know, as being a damn cult leader. So, yeah, they're going to watch everything about you. They doing diagnostics on your retarded ass right now. And, and they want to just make his file thicker, too. Like, just keep Y'all just giving them all the all the evidence that they need. Fifty wasn't supposed to have not one write up. He's supposed to have impeccable. That's just like when you watch movies. It may be like a mob boss or a motherfucker from Russia or something. You know they got mm -hmm. a bunch of money. You see how they always be real meek and humble, quiet. They're never loud, bo boisterous, or none of that. And my thing is like, and if you really wanted to prove. To come think about it, that's why he didn't get bail probably this last time because of y'all failed drone thing. Exactly. If he can't be a model prisoner, how's he going to be out there doing? Like, do y'all not connect the dots? Mm -hmm. Oh, they definitely was looking at that. That's why I, that's why I say, man, they, they, they ain't thought about none of that shit. A man within his own home. He cannot tell his children and his wife what is going to happen and what needs to happen. And this is going to happen. No, because she can pick up the phone, call 911, call 12 and say, nigga, I don't want this nigga here no more. And the cops will come there. Black niggas, by the way. Black women, by the way. It's not no white people working in cops no more. <laughs> um, No. You ever seen Get Out, how the... The white people was getting the consciousness of the black people within them. It's what you mean? Have we ever seen Get Out before? Mm-hmm. We the, we seen Get Out. <laughs> what the and fuck? And she she the prime example. Just flip it around. Yep, she's yep. She need to get the fuck. <laughs> Wasn't they always drinking tea over there? See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> the script the script is flipped in that movie on y'all. Like that's yeah. That's crazy. They gonna sit up there and ask, "Have we ever seen Get Out before?" Because they feel like we we we're the ones that are asleep. We don't we haven't opened our eyes. We don't open our eyes. Our eyes been open. <laughs> we see clear. Y'all the one in that illusion, thinking that y'all can see, like y'all really Neo. And when y'all looking, y'all actually see little numbers and <laughs> yeah. like they can see clear, clear than <laughs> clear than us. Say O through nine and shit scrolling. Exactly. You know, no. Get some type of coding program and shit. That's what Fifty did. They didn't be coding. They motherfucking there. I know what I see. I see him sitting behind bars. I hope you can see that clearly. I see him sitting at that little desk on February twentieth in front of that judge and jury. That's what I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
That's the reality. That's the reality I see. You don't need no codes. You don't need <laughs> no passwords. Matrix. You don't need nothing. That's going to be very clear. 50 in the Matrix, yo. <laughs> 50 in the Matrix. <laughs> Yo, this shit is wild, man. Like I can't right now, man. It's reversed. Damn. Oh, the nigga was the nigga in there. He had the white man in him, didn't he? Yes, just like that. That's how black people are operating. It's a little white man. A little de evil within them. The de evil within them speaking for them, acting as them, moving as them, but they got a black face. Ooh, the black face. You remember white people used to paint themselves black with the paint? It just got it more deeper. It got more deeper that black people themselves are now. Hmm. You don't know who to trust. All these black faces in here. <laughs> I'd rather have white ones. The fact how y'all doing, nigga. Y'all don't support nobody. If I said we about to protest at the Cal County Jail on Monday, how many people going to show up for Lee Hill? Well, how many? How Would many you people going to show up? What does so, it what does it matter as long as y'all show up? That's y'all husband. What, what, why what, why are you asking how many? I wonder how many people gonna show up. So that you said wonder. So wonder. that means that lets me know that y'all didn't even try the mm, first time. Mm, mm. They failed the three. What dollars. what difference does it make as long as y'all are out there? You you so supposed to be so down. Why we gotta be out there? Because see, I think that they I think they want like a like a screen or a mask or a disguise because they then would be able to blend in with everybody that's in attendance. But if it's only just them that's attending the trial, they're going to lock their stupid ass up as soon as they go down there. That's why. They're going to get locked up. That's what's going to happen. If they dumb ass out there talking about free Elysio, they're going to lock their ass up because that would then be them figuring out who are the other three of the four wives that they stated that wasn't supposed to have any contact with him. They're going to lock it. They're going to lock their mm -hmm. ass up. Mm -hmm. Cause they are all accomplices with that with that drone being flown to that jail with the narcotics. And that's what I'm saying. And I'm like, why they don't ever bring that up? Why they don't ever bring the drone thing up though? They bring up everything else. <laughs> because they got amnesia with that event. They 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 don't know nothing about that. I'm telling you, boy. That's what I'm telling you. They don't know good. nothing about the drone case. <laughs> Even when they brought it up, they didn't even say anything like, oh, they're trying to set them up. None of that. Because you know why? Because they recorded y'all calls. It's okay. Every time y'all was talking to him, writing to him, that's their pro that's their property. Those phone calls and they let you know there's a thing that comes on that like it's everybody knows that. I know y'all don't watch movies and stuff. They say this call is being recorded for quality and assurance. And they really don't even have to tell you that it's being recorded. She have enough sense, okay. Like what what are y'all that? Mm -mm -mm. Y'all done fail. That absent minded, but you gotta think with everything that he told them and gave him that and what he gave them information of, he never gave them information for preparation or if he was to be locked up. He didn't give any uh doomsday prepping from the cult leader you know vantage point he ain't do that but they supposed to be so tough so hard so street they was all oh trying to carry weapons for him remember the time malia and all that stuff you supposed to be all that but but you don't know how to talk in code and and when a person gets locked up and how to conduct yourself they were not and able. still get your point across and not mm -mm. actually say what it is. You you not that smart? Mm -mm. Because the only code that they was using that proved that they were smart was the codes that Fifty put out. Mm -hmm. Those the the lib uh, the debilitations triggered uh, healing, uh, higher self, uh, authentic self, uh, raw vegan, uh, grounding. All these words and terminologies. And, and what what is so after you learn these five sciences, okay. how how is that gonna apply to real life? Like for me to function. If I'm say for instance, I have something that where I can't really be out in the jungle somewhere. I got allergies, whatever the case might be. How how am I how am I gonna apply that to my life? How is that gonna make my life? 
a hundred percent better. That's what I'm saying. What what is the purpose? All that studying and stuff like that, you're not putting a curriculum together to actually go and try to have this teaching like in a like a college, college or said. university or set. Like what 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 is all of this this doing? All this writing and stuff y'all doing in these notebooks, um, wasting all these whiteboards. Non applicable, wasting motherfucking ink, like a whole bunch of sh- wasting people. Time. What What is the purpose after you've learned that? And like I said yesterday, like if the system actually crashes and it's like walking dead out here, how's the five sciences gonna help me? How when oh. stuff really get bad, what is, what is the five sciences gonna do for me in that situation? The five sciences is as. It's as useful as a, a motherfucking Boy Scout knife in that situation. If it was a zombie apocalypse, a damn Boy Scout <laughs> knife. So that's how inco man, that's how incoherent the information, all that bullshit was. You can't use none of that bullshit. To, Astrology, none of that's gonna matter. Yeah, you can't use that shit. Like what you think that's supposed to do? Y'all should have been learning survival skills. They weren't they weren't learning. I, that motherfucker couldn't even start a fire. Uh, what kind of fucking survival skills? They ain't had no survival. That nigga was surviving on the internet. <laughs> that was the skills he had. <laughs> when the system when the system fall, you ain't gonna be able to get no Airbnb. <laughs> Man, that's not gonna be able to happen. Man, the system motherfucking crashed. Now y'all y'all shit. did have one little survival skill that eating one time a day. Y'all might be y'all might last a little bit longer being hungry <laughs> than most. <laughs> that part, but then you have to think about non-perishable items and oh them yeah. motherfuckers ain't got enough sense to to no. even at this time eat out of some damn canned goods. That's what yep. I'm trying to tell you. Like they they gone, man. Like they mind is the motherfuckers is somewhere else. Just like it's okay, like it's okay, they ain't figured it out yet. But you can't tell me they're not eating all this stuff. Remember, like, after 50 had kind of first got locked up and Fufu was holding up them zebra cakes and she was telling this is what, what... And I'm just like, well, where did you get the zebra cakes? Why the zebra cakes even in the house? And they, and they, cause, cause you remember... <laughs> You remember before that she was talking care shit about them honey buns, remember? Yeah. And I, and I had that honey bun ice cream for Walmart. She was talking shit. She, she trying to make a video about it. I said, oh, you trying to be funny. You see how that how karma came? Uh-huh. See, that's, that's considered as being karmic debt. It's been paid back. She was talking shit about little Debbie cake products. Mm. Her ass turned around a year later and started eating. Not yeah. by choice, but by force. Mm-hmm. Sitting in a fucking tent, hungry as fuck. Eating fifty cent snacks out of the damn convenience store. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what their life became. But these supposed to be what? These supposed to be goddesses. These supposed to be queens of of, of of the sex cult leader. This is the only sex cult leader to date that once that he was arrested, that his women fell off. He, 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 this, this is the only one where, where, where the women didn't have no money. They had no property, no home. No vehicle, no jewels, uh, nothing. Just think about it. And they all, is yeah, fucked up. All the money that he done went through, he should have had some type of safe where somebody, he allotted somebody, even if it wasn't him, to help him financially and help them financially or whatever while he was away. No, I think at the time that this became, uh, it went from a teaching moment to entertainment. And during that time, he never took that into consideration. He, he, in his mind, nothing would happen other than him getting up and getting on the internet and doing this stuff. That's it. I forgot it was cosmic, cosmic currency, right? It's, it's, it's just gonna automatically. What, what happened to that? Is okay. I thought that y'all believed in cosmic currency. I thought stuff was just gonna fall out the sky for y'all. Sure. If things were gonna just fall out the sky, then that bond would have f- fell out the sky. <laughs> Fifty with that motherfucking bond money. That's how the fuck that was. Ain't not, ain't nothing fall out the damn sky. That judge bought a personal stamp that got a big red stamp that said denied. Anytime she saw put the name come across that she hit it on the desk. Just stamped that shit. <laughs> she hit that ink. <laughs> denied. <laughs> Every fucking time, yo. Would you show up? Who would show up?
But I bet you, if a rainforest was going down and a white man got shot, all them white people would be up there. Man, white people was at that jail just because somebody got it. <laughs> What? She said if a white man got shot. White people would be at that jail. What? Would you show up? Who would show up? <laughs> but I bet you, if a rainforest was going down and a white man got shot, uh, rain all them white people would be up there. What the man, fuck? Man, white people was at that jail just because some... She said that if a rainforest was going down, or if something happened to the rainforest or whatever, what you know, what would happen, et cetera, et cetera. Well, it, it's it's plenty of people still trying to save the elements of the rainforest. But the problem with that is just protesting and things like that, that's not gonna get anything done. They're actually putting things in place to protect it. And it's more than just white people that are concerned about that. But comparing 50 to the whole rainforest, like, come on now. Th th there is no comparison. And what are you talking about? If a, wh if a white person got shot, people would be down there. It's plenty of white people that got shot. I ain't seen no, no, no protest. You white, seen some protest behind it? White people get shot too. The police kill white people too. They kill they kill Latinos. But I ain't seen no big, big, big protest. Like, wh yeah. what is she talking about? They don't just kill niggas, they kill everybody. But the fact still comes back, Zocane. Y'all for it, and when carbonation was still there, y'all didn't go down there and protest. This is before the drones, or whatever. Y'all didn't go and do it. See, that stuff. So now you mad us. that we haven't done it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it, it wasn't on us. See, see, none of that was, you know, like our responsibility. Like I didn't I didn't sign up for any of that. I never agreed to do any of that stuff. That was the vow that y'all made to y'all sex code leader husband. Mm -hmm. I didn't. We ain't got to. Me and guys, we ain't got to do it. There. No, that's y'all messiah. Got to deal with. So now that you didn't do that for your messiah, now you gonna have to. You, 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 yeah, you have to bear that. So they don't understand that while him being incarcerated, that he will from the jail be you know shipped to a prison. A department of correction he's going to go to a prison whereas he's going to need letters he's going to need packages he's going to need things uh magazines uh subscriptions he mm -hmm. you know just he's going to need various things that they would have to be the ones providing for him so how do they think that they're going to provide it other than getting a fucking job i don't know how i mean do they think this shit gonna just fall out the sky or something i don't know i guess they're hanging on to these little few people that still giving them money, giving them places to stay and helping them out. I, I don't know. It's a, it's a strong possibility, but damn, even if they are going from spot to spot, going from spot to spot, ain't going to provide for 50. And how are they going to get y'all a letter or something? If y'all living in a tent, you got to have an address. Yeah, that's a good point. And he definitely wouldn't be able uh, to make bond and then go to the address of the tent because the tent ain't got no <laughs> damn address. No. <laughs> what, 1534 uh, leaves on the ground? Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. I don't understand. Like, what? See, and that's what I'm saying about non stability within this coat as opposed to other coats. You know, uh, as opposed to them uh, talking about uh, Charles Manson and various other you know, cult characteristic individuals, you have to think about uh, they never went in debt with showing those people life afterward, not just saying the mm -hmm. effects from the cult, but did that person have somewhere to stay? What was their likely transition like back into, you know, into mm -hmm. society, et cetera? They never went over there. Mm -mm. Just like with them. That's why I say like they don't have anything. If they were to be interviewed for a documentary, it would appear as if they bumps like they just nomads. Motherfuckers just living on the street because they don't have anything mm -mm. like it, it, it make no fucking sense. Like if you think about when that took place with Dr. Malachi Z. York and when he got locked up in Eatonton, Georgia, the women that was connected to, to him. You best believe that they had somewhere to stay. Mm -hmm. There was no 
Look, there were no statements, far out cries that was made by anyone of the women stating, oh, we need help. Oh, could you know, we just trying to see who's going to show up for the protest for our sex cult leader husband. They didn't do none of that. Mm -mm. No, that's why I say Cause things sorry. were because things were in place. Exactly. You tell me nine, nine, nine. I tell me what <laughs> leaves on. Yeah. It's going to be it's going to be three, 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 three by the park. By the park, by the park. That's exactly what it's going to be. And he went. To, oh, he just sitting there now. He, he feels some kind of way, you know, because that the fan ain't on and stuff. We actually recording right now, Cash. So we're not able. Come on, Cash. Okay. Mm -hmm. I swear. And we recording right now. You can come up here with your mama. We're just talking right now. And he's like, "What the? F mm -hmm. It's okay, Cash. That's okay." <laughs> But anyway, Cash got more of a home than what the fuck that y'all got, Zoka. His home is cushioned. You feel me? He got him a gray. His bed is gray. It's thick. Uh, what is that shit called? Some kind of... What is that shit? Phone? What is that? Oh, memory phone. Memory phone. Mm -hmm. That's what Cash sleep on. Okay? Y'all can't even sleep in a tent right now. It, it's too cold for that shit, okay? And my thing, they, they're supposed to be so prideful and so down and we're we're an embarrassment. We're all of this stuff, and they can't even cam up. Can't even. Cam Why are you up? embarrassed? Can't can't even look us. Can't even look us in the eyes, y'all. Don't even want us to see. Ah, damn. That's just sad. Like you've seen these women uh, from the same documentaries. They was talking about R. Kelly and all that shit. Mm -hmm. You seen those women cam up when they was on that Lifetime uh, special. Mm -hmm. Surviving R. Kelly, why why are they afraid? Why why are they afraid to to tell their story? Do they think that they got some type of uh unbreakable allegiance to the sex cult leader or something? Cause they ain't perform no death defying acts. I mean, you would think that if they felt as strongly as what they did, that they would even, you know, go to the point or the lengths of not only sending drugs into the jail, but possibly making an attempt to help them get out the jail type of shit. I mean, exactly. if y'all moving that like down. that, I mean, you know, like if y'all moving down. like that. Y'all go right ahead. Y'all go right, right ahead. That shit is crazy. I done heard, I done heard of women low-key secretly taking drugs into the jail and prison, you know, just to be able to get that to their significant other. But come on, Fufu. Fufu, you you Fufu, you went all the way down there with that weird ass shit. All that weird ass shit and got bopped. You got popped. So you know that they know who the rest of the women are. And of course they know that he put you up on it. No woman is just gonna freestyle thinking that, oh, I'm about to take these drugs and stuff down here. So yeah, hopefully just, you know, in case if he have in mind to stick a broomstick out the window, uh, attach with seven or eight damn tied up bed sheets that he'll get these <laughs> drugs. Get the fuck out of here, man. Ooh. Get the fuck out of here. It don't work. But the thing. fact that she had just visited earlier that day, so you, you you wrote down who you were already visiting, so they know who you're connected to. Like, what what sense does that make? Like, really? You didn't think those folks would go and you know they probably sat there and looked at them for a hot looked at her for a hot minute. That's why it's all like she was doing this and that. They were like, is this is she really finna do this? They need to be, I don't even know if that show still come on, the most dumbest criminals. <laughs> she definitely would have made it. <laughs> Cause you know they sat there and was like, Is this really finna have look, yeah, okay. <laughs> Who who finna walk out there and go go stop this mess? Like oh, this is ridiculous. Right. I just wish they would have had like body cam foot. But you know what? They might even present that. Oh, they man. might even present that. That'll I want to see that. That's man, gonna be hilarious. Yo, man, we need to we need to petition for that shit for them to even show that shit because that that'll blow this whole case out of the fucking water. And I want to hear fifty up there in the window right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Man. Or do you think he was whispering? Right here. Right here. Right here. I just want to know. Oh, man. man I want to see Damn. when he knew that Fufu got caught down there. What? Oof. 
Damn. <laughs> That leather foot nigga dropped his knees in that <laughs> motherfucker, boy. That nigga done called Jesus and everybody else. Boy, that nigga was like, God, it's over. It's over. That was the that was the last attempt. Yeah. You know, that was that was reaching out for, for nothing. That was a helicopter punch. That was a that was a hopeless wish. That was oh man. That was the last noodle in the noodle box. Had right? them using that, that last little money doing that. Buying buying that stuff and trying to take like He could have used that money in there. Yeah. He could have he could have used that money to eat. 50 wasted money. Just throwing it away. Go get some drugs. Bring it up. Who paid for the fucking drone? Did the nigga buy a drone too? That's what yeah. I mean. uh. That was before the sixty dollar promo on TikTok. You feel me? <laughs> With that fake ass shit, like no, no. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna be okay. It's okay, though. It's gonna be okay. Cause somebody got arrested. Just cause they got arrested for speaking the truth. But ain't that what Chief did? Didn't he get arrested for speaking the truth? I take I, I honor the um the Hispanics and how they fight for their rights and fight for their people. They will cross over a river holding each other's hands, some drowning. Not they drowning each other. Why must we drown each other? Why must we think we so much uppity in the white man that we got our hair done, we got our new suit, we got our new car, we got our, oh, the black man, that black woman, you have gotten so. <laughs> What's okay, what say? What kind of analogy? What's okay, say? They drowning each other. Why must we drown each other? Why must we think we so much uppity in the white man that we got our hair done, we got our new suit, we got our new I car? Like the white man, uppity. Wait. Wait a minute. Does she understand? Does she tell me that the Hispanic people stick together? They're trying to cross the rivers. They're trying to cross to escape from the same, their own culture because it's so bad over there because they're killing each, killing each other, like the cartel and different things like that. That's why they're running from over here. They're not, what are you talking about sticking together? And who are we drowning? Damn. That's crazy, yo. Y'all, y'all are drowning fifty. Drowning with all other. of this right now. Damn. That don't even make no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Do you think that there was anybody from DeKalb County Jail when she went live, possibly that was listening on to what she was saying? Oh yeah, I know they are. <laughs> I know too. I know for a fact. This, this is just further proof. Like I said, this is mm -hmm. further proof. Of the manipulation. I, I said, y'all need to stay off here. Stay off. If you get coming on here with this, stay off. You hear that's okay. All yeah. y'all. All of y'all. All four. <laughs> Straight up. Like, stop, stop it. This is some sad shit, and we ain't even, man. This is fucked up. That's all I can say. This is fucked up. We got our, ooh, the black man, that black woman, you have gotten so, ooh, you gotten so doused in the system. It, the system makes you think that you free, makes you think that you independent and you like it. You like your lower self. You love your lower self. You love ignorance. You love evil. You love deceit. You love confusion. Why must you love those things when God has come here to tell you about truth and righteousness and purity and knowledge itself? But you ignore that. You hate that. You want to throw that away and, and lock it away in a the, in the, in the cell. But when it comes to shaking your butt, like ice spice and oozy ice and sexy who 
That's who your little girls is looking up to. That's you as women. That's all we we subjected to. Black white people are literally making fun of you. In front of your face. As you be that ratchet dirty bitch with three baby daddies. And they glorify you because they looking at your ignorance like, oh my gosh, this is what they do. Oh my gosh, we're in the world of a black woman. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that nigga. They will never tell you they call you nigga. They will never tell you. They will never tell you when they're going to come into your home. It's the voice for me. And that's what I was speaking in reference to that multiple personality disorder shit that she got going on. Black, white people are literally making fun of you. See what I'm saying? It's always white people this, white people that. What, do, what the fuck do white people got to do with any damn things, okay? What do, what do white people got to do with your sex code leader husband being incarcerated now? In front of your face. It wasn't white people that recorded those uh, incriminating images. It, it wasn't the white people that took out the PPP loans, okay? Like, as you be that ratchet, dirty bitch with three baby daddies. And they glorify you because they looking at your ignorance like, oh my gosh, this is what they do. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're in the world of a black. Yeah, this right here. About subjected to black, white people are literally making fun of you. In front of your face. In front of your face. As you be that ratchet, dirty bitch. With three baby daddies. And they glorify you. Ratchet, Why dirty she... bitch with three baby daddies. Why Velveeta gotta be ratchet? <laughs> Talk about box. Damn why she throw box under the bus like that. So I'm like, Why? That's crazy. Why they hating on her so much right now? Yeah, well, I'm saying they, they, but they weren't saying nothing about her in the beginning. That's though. what I'm saying. They weren't really saying nothing about her. Like, what, 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 what unchanged? What happened? Something happened. Something definitely happened. Something has happened. It's going to come to the light. You know what I think? And we're going to be like, that's why they was doing it all of a sudden. You know what I think? Being that Velvet is legally married to him and she can't testify against him i think that she simply provided evidence to prove certain stuff as far as uh they're actually being a character witness i mm -hmm. think she did some character assassination are you straight up because now all of a sudden they got all of that bullshit to exactly say about now it's everything to say about box which is crazy. Cause she's been gone a hot minute. Like y'all ain't say nothing. And because I ain't said nothing about box, yo. By you because they looking at your ignorance. Like, oh my gosh, this is what they do. Oh my gosh, we're in the world of a black woman. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that nigga. They will never tell you they call you nigga. They will never tell you. They will never tell you when they're gonna come into your homes and take you to the Walmart FEMA camps. They will never tell you. They will never tell you when you're about to be a slave again. They will never tell you. But still, keep acting like you're free. Keep acting like you ain't a slave, but you a slave. Like Chief said, it's just different levels of it. Jail and prison is just the lowest vibration of it. But you in jail too. You locked up too. Just because you get two days out the, out the week to go to a club, to go to the beach, that ain't shit. The slaves had days to go to church. The slaves had days to dance around for the for the white man. You getting on stage and they clapping like, yay, good job. You did some shit, little nigga. Here, your three cents. That ain't shit to me. You still worth one-fourth of a nigga to me. Black people, the truth is, you hate yourself. You will always be a nigga while you sit in the system. You will always be a slave while you sit in the system. And you have a time to show that you care about your people and show that you care about your Messiah, a speaker of truth, a speaker of righteousness, the real, representing the authentic ones, representing the hood, but also representing the kingdom of God. This is your time to come together. This is your time to connect and bring our resources together so that we can bring the truth back out. Because we know how the enemy moves. It moves through us. It moves through one another. That's why he is in there. Because it moved. The evil, into, the evil spirit moved through to get him locked up. And now we must align ourselves with God. Because 
And we can see that that happens, right? To someone that's a public figure, multiple times. R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, uh, P. Diddy, there's a pastor in Nigeria. All this is happening. But if we can learn how to deal with things within the community as people and learn to talk to one another and deal with things within our tribes, we will start to know and recognize that we are supposed to be there for each other through thick and thin. We're not supposed to just be there for each other when I'm getting a check, <laughs> when I'm getting some attention. Fuck, that's going to last for 15 minutes. Then you're going to go back to your miserable life. And you have to sleep with what you did at night. And it will hunt you. And it will it will linger. It will, it, your glow won't be a glow no more. You won't be able to glow the way you glowed. You'll look in the mirror, you won't be able to look really in your mirror because you've seen all the wrong that you did. When all it simply took was communication. When all it simply took was understanding. Was bringing our minds together so that we can uplift one another. But instead, we rather talk shit on the white man's internet to one another. Ugh, you disgust me. It's disgusting to me. To see how far we done came when it came to our history, but how low we done went. We done went so long and we done went so far to stop. We integrated ourselves in the system so deeply that we cannot see that we are drowning. Peace, Kaja. We have integrated ourselves so much into self-hatred. You heard that? You heard that? Heard what she said. Peace to listen. We cannot see that we are drowning. Peace, Kaja. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Now that's the person that Sunflower was saying that was asking her, was she going to Nature Boy's trial? Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. We have integrated ourselves so much into self hatred. And we done went so far to stop. We integrated ourselves in the system so deeply that we cannot see that we are drowning. Peace, Kaja. We have integrated ourselves so much into self-hatred that we got a beauty supply on every, 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 <laughs> every corner. We got a church on every corner. We got a liquor store on every corner. We shoot our own brothers and sisters and we glorify it through our rap. Black women are nothing but hoes and tricks and sluts and easy. You've never been easy, black woman. You've never been easy. You easy as easy can be nowadays. All I got to do is give you a couple of change <laughs> and you'll be on the stage half naked. Hell, you won't even be on the stage getting no money. You'll just be walking around the street like it's Halloween. I'm a bunny. It's Halloween. I ain't got no principles because your mama ain't teach you how to how to dress. Your mama ain't teach you how to have no morals and principles. Your mama ain't teach you how to move like a woman, how to move like a goddess. Because a black woman started to move. So that's what she doing. She talking about Nene. Oh, yeah. She y'all y'all got that right. To my own like a bunny on Halloween. Y'all know Nene had dressed up as a. Uh, I forgot the little character. Like yeah, it was that bunny, the yeah. space gent, Lola bunny. Lola, yeah. Lola mm -hmm. bunny. Mm -hmm. so. Y'all could have dressed up too. Damn. Y'all could have went on ahead and dressed up and, and, and did that too. Why they even watching Nene page though? Why they watching her page? They don't have nothing else to do. Damn. But Fifty taught them taught them well. Like that's what he would have them do. Any members who I mm. forgot who was that that left. Remember they said like he would have them watching. So they doing exactly what they've been taught. That's fucked up. Hey, no, they ain't talking about a bunny and how to dress up and the whole thing. Like, but they could have did it too. Like, yeah. why, why, like, why get mad? It take it, it, it take more energy to hate. Mm -hmm. Way more energy to hate. That's what they would rather do. That's energy that they don't have. They 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 wasting energy 
They look, they wasting energy for food that they don't even have right now. They supposed to be saving their motherfucking energy. They, get, they got shit to eat. They get mad that they're out here, regardless of what they're doing, they're still living their lives away from under the influence of 50. And y'all can do it too. Y'all can do it too. Why look at them and get mad? They should be mad when they look back on the old videos and see how fucking done that they look. They should be infuriated at this point. Instead of being mad and upset with Nate, 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 they ain't did a damn thing. That's crazy. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm street like it's Halloween. I'm a bunny. It's Halloween. I ain't got no principles because your mama ain't teach you how to how to dress. Your mama ain't teach you how to have no morals and principles. Your mama ain't teach you how to move like a woman, how to move like a goddess. Because if black women started to move like a goddess, I bet you the black men will get in line. And that's all the chief was trying to do. But niggas want to be some low slave ass niggas that ain't got no type of no type of high righteousness within they soul, no type of heart. Niggas, y'all ain't got no heart. These bitches these days got more hearts than niggas than y'all can see because us four is standing by our nigga while everybody else fell off. All them other niggas fell off. Do what you doing, nigga, working at Wendy's? <laughs> you was just rapping about the universe. Weren't you just rapping about the universe? About Akashic records, about the quantum physics, about melanin and how the environment that you're living in is changing and altering your DNA? Now you eating the same genetically modified food? You hypocrite. Why don't you stick to nothing you say? The hell? You sleeping in the white man's bed. But how you gonna, how you gonna argue? How you gonna argue about being imprisoned and being a slave and how fucked up the prison system is? 50 the one arguing about being in prison. He the one wanting to get out. <laughs> he the one wanting to get out of jail and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't get like uh, so he was over like buying y'all clothes, picking it out, doing all this stuff. He's the one that had y'all lined up, uh, trying to emulate the military, which is according to y'all a part of the system, um, incorporating that in some of his teachings, trying to teach y'all supposed discipline and things like that. So who's Y'all only ate when he told y'all you could eat and things like that. So who who's was actually the slave? You still had somebody telling you what to do. But we're slaves? They didn't view 50 like that. 50 was a whole correctional officer, but they didn't look at it like he was telling them or making them or forcing them to do anything. They didn't have to abide by any rules when it came down to the cult leader in their mind. They just was serving God. That's all. Serving God, man. Right? You know. Mm. Typical, typical 50 shit. That's what that is. And then is this the you, you keep talking about the white man. Is this the same white man that when he inflicted violence on y'all that he said that he was beating the white man out of y'all? Is, is, is that the white man y'all talking about? That's the same one? That's the same one, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, white man. He was beating on up out of Beating the white man up out of That's a damn shame, okay? That's a shame, you know? That's how you know that they damn bad, because she can't even figure out shit the fuck is saying. get out and then end up being a slave again. No, 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 no legitimate contrast whatsoever that she's able to make. It's because you don't know what to do. No, you don't know what to do. He didn't leave y'all with what the fuck to do. That's why y'all fucked up now. And black Shit. Talking about, hey, black you woman, you ain't got no guidance. Do. The one guy that. Who guiding y'all at this point? Like, just think, think about how crazy that that sound. <gasps> but my thing is, it's like, why wouldn't y'all be trying, if you really feel like he's going to get out, why don't y'all have jobs? Stuff like that, so he'll be able to have stuff when he get out. He'll have y'all get an apartment, something like you're not doing anything 
but saying, oh, no, he's going to be free. Right. So therefore, that lets me know that y'all know he's not going to be free. And at this point, all the stuff and shenanigans that y'all are allowing him to talk y'all into doing, y'all seem like y'all want to keep him in there. And you just waiting for it to be sealed for him to get this actual time. That's what it's kind of looking like. Because she the one said on the phone call <laughs> that they got all the evidence. They got all the evidence. <laughs> Okay, I mean, that's what she said. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of like what it's looking like. Like, maybe y'all can finally take a deep breath when that final time comes. Like, is that, that maybe that's what they're holding on, waiting on? They have been anticipating this, and I whole lot feel like I, I feel like out of everybody that's dead, the only person that probably didn't want them to get locked up was I. That's what mm-hmm. I just think. I can see that. I think that's the only way. Because despite what he did to her and said to her, it was the best thing to her. I was going through some heavy shit in her life. And 50 was the person who she was able to like redirect her problems. Or he made it better for her. Like, shit. She, she, she'll never give up on 50, man. And that's just in my opinion. To see Aya... If I ever wake up from this from this hypnosis, man, man, it's gonna be beyond a motherfucking miracle, yo. Like straight up. That's I even think, to be honest with you, man, that shit is greater than the universe itself. All galaxies included. <laughs> yeah. The rest of them, yeah, I think they kind of tired of that shit now. Like it ain't the math ain't math and babe. You know, being a cult leader wife ain't really what it's cracked up to be. Because if it was what it was cracked up to be, they wouldn't be broke, they wouldn't be fucked up, they wouldn't be out, they wouldn't be without a house, without a home, they wouldn't be wearing that same shit over and over again. Like, <laughs> nah, that ain't that. That ain't what's up. Mm-hmm. Not being a cult leader's wife. Mm-mm. And and to think she's still married to Courtney. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, why? Yeah, that. Mm-mm. Just can't. Come on, okay, yo. Come on with it. That you had, you gave them to. The- People in the jungle rapping about some science. Said, 50 dumbass had agile dumbass over there rapping that shit in the jungle. Is we aren't doing nothing that's eat out. What? We not trafficking nobody. Do some some. It's real. It'd be really uh, heartbreaking sometimes because I'd be like, damn, we really want to do the right thing and uplift our people, and we really going through our generational curses to heal them so that we don't have our children have to bear the pain of unhealed traumas. Am I clear now? I'm thankful Tia and I'm thankful D. We're the only ones really doing the work because we have a lot of time to sit with ourselves. What do you and- think about that? <laughs> We got a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got a lot of time, y'all. This shit is crazy, man. Woo! So, okay, thank you for the confirmation. Y'all just sitting there doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. And because you have nothing to do, this is what comes out of just being idle with your time. Find something to do. Mm, mm, mm. That said a lot right there. Oh yeah. That was <laughs> that was the nail in the coffin right there. I'm thankful Tia and I'm thankful D. We're 
we're the only ones really doing the work because we have a lot of time to sit with ourselves and and deal with ourselves in a healthy way. And even sometimes it will be unhealthy how we deal with ourselves. But that's just to show you how our self-hatred has seeped into us and how subconsciously it plays out sometimes. And instead of having moments of counsel, having moments of reconcile, we do the easy thing, which is to be hateful and ignorant. That's very easy. You know what's hard? Hard is doing the right thing when no one is looking. The hard thing is being yourself when everyone hates you. The hard thing is loving those that, that stabbed you in the back multiple times. <clears throat> The hard thing is still keeping your heart open when everything that happened to you in life was just hard and heartbreaking. But still, I'm a love. That's the hard thing. The hard thing is forgiveness. The hard thing is having compassion. The hard thing is to be a sacrifice. For other people that don't love you because they don't know what they're doing they rather be entertained by the drama they better be entertained by social media and the current trends and yes it's very entertaining i'm not even gonna play with you it's entertaining and that's for us to make it's for us and our duty as the black woman to make it cool and make it cultured what my king has brought to us so that the children can see that there is another way. Come they king. I thought he was a god. Like so, when so she done called him bishop. Damn. Damn. Now she's saying my king. Like, right. wh which one is it? Wow. Wh which one is it? Now you're supposed to be standing, standing fast. Now, like, what, 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 you, you got to get yourself together. It's okay. She done slipped up on that one right there. Mm-hmm. She slipped the fuck up. Oh, yeah. And I know y'all hear Cash feet in the background. It's all good, though. <laughs> Another way of life. And black people, and I'm black woman, you you sick and you, you sit on the white man's... <laughs> I'm not going to say that. White, black woman, you stay in white supremacy and you... And you are so fascinated by the ways of white supremacy so much. It's because you don't know any other world. If you was exposed to other cultures and other worlds and see how things was done in the East and how it's actually a pleasure to be submissive in, in, in agreement and building and being a, a, a helpmate to your black man, you will you will start to see the benefits of being a goddess and a true divine woman. Breaking the illusion of separation. Cultivating your man's mind. <sighs> Eating holistically from the earth. Teaching the children. Black women, we don't teach the children anymore. We don't teach the children anymore. The children are out here among sharks and, and thieves and crooks. And, and it's just heartbreaking. And... It's making me motivated more and more to speak the truth and to organize something so that Chief can know that we love him and he isn't alone in this war because we are at war and we are fighting a spiritual warfare. It's not so much physical anymore. The Black Panther Party and the the move, move movement and uh, the civil rights movement, they thought to fight with guns and fight with and bombs and, and blow things up and kill people as their act of, of, of showing that I am here and I matter. But simply, the Messiah has come Blowing to- Blowing stuff up and killing stuff. What's she talking about? The party and the, the move, move, movement and uh, the civil rights movement, they thought to fight with guns and fight with and bombs. And I think it's weird how it's like everything that she say, it kind of put me in the mind of like a woman that secretly done been, been with another man. And it's like the stuff that she talk about 
is the same shit that True be talking about. All the shit, the Move Movement, the R. Kelly documentary, all this mm. stuff about the cult. It's like it's regurgitated through her. And then if you keep in mind, True was one of the main people that was saying that she was one of the people that left. Right. Yeah. They did never said nothing else about it. Mm-hmm. Kept saying, yeah, I hope Jay on wake up and this, 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 and that. So that kind of proved that he was talking to her. Mm-hmm. Just like, and if that wasn't the truth, when that person came over there in that white car that time. He was right there. That's right. That's right. Mm. Uh huh. Uh-huh. So it's 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 it's, it's more to Aaron Dixon and Jayon Hamilton, y'all. Comes and and blow things up and kill people God. as their act of, of of showing that I am here and I matter. But simply, the Messiah has come to tell us we just simply don't need to entertain it anymore. We simply don't need to live amongst the thieves, live amongst the killers, live amongst the liars. We can simply start to work on ourselves and heal ourselves so that we can, so that we can um, truly be one mind and one self. One mind and one self means. Say she don't even know. No, that's why she called. She don't even know what she, what she was saying. I'm just saying, I'm just like, what are you even talking about? She don't even know what she's talking about. That's why she lost her train of thought. She's not even making sense to her own self. We don't have to live among the... What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I, she, she don't even know. She couldn't even get her thoughts together because she's just rambling off. Nonsense. So okay, focus, man. She got some other stuff going on in her life right now, and it definitely ain't poppy. She can try to play how she want to play it, though, but we hear you, though, Big Zokane. We hear you. Mm-hmm. We hear you, Zokane. It's all good, though, Shawty. You know what I'm saying? Your secret's safe with us. It means that we have one way of morals and principles, and that's what keeps us together and united. Because if we keep morals and principles, we will never be divided. As black people, we're stronger together than, than better to, to, apart. I hear all the time that you guys want us to leave each other and be separate. Ooh, I'm so glad. I, I hope this rumor is true that, um, that um, Zoka left the group of women and they're all now back to their families. Mm. But I'm, I'm making my own family. Why, why you gotta be making your own family? We would have thought by now that you know that they were your family. So what is it about you making a family? Is okay. In which I think the same thoughts that they think, and we have the same mission and goals. We have the same purpose, and you want me to leave that? You want me? You want me to be separate from that? To be separate from my purpose means that I'm lost. Why should they be separate, goddess? They need to be separate because the thing is, is that you can't grow if all of you all, you just said that all of you all have the same thoughts. So if all of you all are thinking the same, doing the same, there's nothing there to challenge you and help you grow. That's why it's very important to be around people that are different, different backgrounds, different things. You hear different opinions so you can be more open minded and learn different things and grow. We as human beings, we're not. That's why no one's DNA is the exact same. Like everybody is their own individual person. We are not built to all be the same. You can share the same views, but that's not what you're saying. You're actually saying you all have the same thoughts, the same this, the same that. That's not going to progress and go anywhere. You should be able to express your, if you disagree, you can disagree. It's okay to have common things in common, share different views, but that is not realistic 
and you're not going to have longevity with that as far as you all trying to always have the same thoughts unless you all are still up underneath that umbrella of that cult teaching. So that is why y'all are like you all are now. When one you see one kind of stepping away, you keep bringing them back. And that's why it's so important that y'all are around each other. You don't even realize it. Y'all just still keep regurgitating the same things that you've been taught over these last couple of years. And that's what's holding you all together. Not the same thoughts, not the same views, not any of that. It's those teachings and how you all have been conditioned. That's what's keeping y'all together. That's a false family. If you even want to even consider the ass as being a damn family, but it is what the fuck mm -hmm. it is. <laughs> and then I'm confused. And then I'll be on a route right back to find my purpose again. But why not be proud that you have a group of women that's united in truth, united in knowledge, and not just any knowledge. You can say that, oh, we're like the, you guys love trying to compare us to cult leaders. And all these cult leaders y'all compare us. Two people. Nigga, we, we ain't white. We the black as black could be. Look at the words that I speak. Listen to the miss mission that he brings. He is locked up for something that he didn't do. He is suffering. They got him in a whole administrative segregation. He's isolated from everybody. That's not right. So, <sighs> that's all for now. Make sure you guys watch some downloads on Nature Boy TV. Make sure you guys fill yourselves up with truth. Make sure you guys um, respect your elders. Respect those that might not seem old, but the words that they speak is very ancient and rich and wealthy ones. And that is three God. I'm thankful for my king and I will continue to speak for you. I'll continue to hold you down. I'll continue to be a righteous, divine woman in a in a land full of Clown. sluts and hoes. And sluts and hoes? What the? Wait, Jesus, Damn. Delta. Wow. Really? Damn. Whatever you say goes, I will be very righteous. I promise I will give my life for anything. Not for anything. For you. For you. <laughs> she, I ain't going to give my life for anything. Or anyone. I know that this is a sacred temple and I will take care of my family. Because that's what I devoted myself to. I devoted myself to uphold righteousness and truth. No matter what. No matter if I'm faced with jail time. Because I spoke the truth. That's an honor. I'll be honored to do that. Um, if we organize something, whoever's oh. in Atlanta, uh, oh, your wow. woman, contact me. Damn, and, did she say what I think that she just said? Like <laughs> I promise I will give my life for anything. Not for anything. For you. For you. Uh -oh. <laughs> she, I ain't going to give my life for anything. Oh, so the limit to what she will or won't do. So now she won't give her life to anything, but. One, I know that this is a sacred temple and I will take care of my family because that's what I devoted myself to. I devoted myself to uphold righteousness and truth, no matter what, no matter if I'm faced with jail time. Because I spoke the truth. That's an honor. Damn. Now, that ain't, ain't that some shit? No matter if she faced with jail time. Why she gonna say that? Is she trying even if she speak the truth, she's trying to say it about the gag order, but no. That's that more to that. Even if she faces jail time. Mm. 
Damn. Okay. You, you spoke it on yourself, so. Hey, there you, you gonna put it out there just like Fifty spoke that shit over his mm-hmm. life. That's called throwing bricks at the penitentiary, right there, Jayon Hamilton. I'll be honored to do that. Um, if we organize something, whoever's in Atlanta, what? Uh, you're a woman, contact me. If, if <laughs> man, I, this shit can't be real. Well, if we organize something, that's an honor. I'll be honored to do that. Um, if we organize something, whoever's in Atlanta, and uh, you're a woman, contact me, and maybe we can connect. And if you know any information when it comes to the judicial system that can help Eligio and his freedom, uh, please message um, three le- three dot legio bishop one three legio dot one three bishop on um, IG. Y'all know his Instagram, um, and. Uh, if you want to support, support. If you don't, you support in any way just because your genetics, <laughs> you can't run from your genetics. I love myself. Peace to the gods and goddess on earth. Three God reign supreme. Interesting, right? Huh. It's crazy. This shit is crazy, but that's that's okay. Okay, say if she got to go to jail, it is what it is, babe. I mean, she said she'll be, she'll be honored. Okay. She'll be honored and stuff. You, know? you spoke it out there, so you're going to be honored and, and get ready. Ah, damn. This shit right here, boy. I keep telling y'all, man, this shit is real. 